First of all, welcome to the channel and thank you for stopping by. When time permits, please consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it. I've been using the AS Max F1 unit on one of my helmets for several months now, probably going on four or five. And this is a fantastic premium headset. It matches my Cardo in every way that I need and has superior battery life to my Cardo Edge. Recently, AS Max reached out to me and asked if I would like to try one of their non-premium headsets. Not everyone needs the most expensive top of the line. Not that I need it either, but I am enjoying it. And I said, absolutely, I would be happy to test your product as I am an AS Max user and having great success using it. Enter the AS Max S1. This unit is going to be two steps down from the unit I use, and I'm very interested in seeing how it compares. Let's take it out of the box. Okay, the packaging is up to the standards I've come to expect. This is the third unit from AS Max I've had a chance to take a look at. Looks fairly familiar as well. It's a quality plastic. Matte finish on the back, glossy on the front, large activation button, another button, two more buttons, and the connection on the bottom. Let's do a quick comparison to the one I use now. Now this is the AS Max top of the line. I do believe they're coming out with another unit, but today this is as good as it gets and it's quite good. Build quality wise, about the same. Everything looks perfect on each one. No seams coming apart. Everything looks like it was molded perfectly. It does look like they've maintained their quality even on a lower end unit. This right here, however, is a bit of a disappointment. I'm going to admit I've become quite spoiled about magnetic connectors, and this is more of the traditional snap-in, which we'll take a look at later. Nice, well-shielded USB here. Well-shielded charge port. Ah, oh, rubber goes right in. Wish my Cardo Edge did that. Typical AS Max instructions. Images, text, high quality, no issues. This will be interesting. One of the things that I noticed about the AS Max unit I use is it uses the exact same connector, the exact same microphones as Cardo does. And this unit uses that exact same connector. So if you've got spare Cardo parts, you're good. Or if you have AS Max parts and your buddy needs a microphone, you're only using one at a time, you can help him out. This is absolutely identical. These mics are the same that comes in the higher end unit. That's fantastic. No corners were cut. Same exact cable for charging. These are the exact same speakers that come with the high-end unit. So far, so good. Lots of extra ear plugs. All right, now here we are, finally a difference. Could be a little more flexible, but that'll contour onto my helmet just fine. And here's the clip. I've never had a helmet where the clips worked for me, but it's good that they include it. So yes. There is not a lot in here that is different from the high-end AS Max, and that's promising. I know the internals are nearly identical as well. I'm expecting everything to work just as well. Okay, I've verified that Bluetooth is connected to my phone. I can play music. Now let's get into the app. Hey, there we are, AS Max S1. App connected. Okay, we have all of our options just as we do with the F1. 
All right, time to take this out and see if there's any noticeable difference between the more budget unit we have here, the S1, and the F1, which is their premium unit. The speakers are identical. The microphone is identical. I don't expect anything to be different from the AS Max F1, but I would like to see, just to be sure, how the volume is at speed. So we'll get somewhere we can obviously not exceed the speed limit, but go a little bit faster than we were. Very easy to reach up and grab the volume. Now, I am wearing a helmet that's considered somewhat loud, but I wear earplugs and I've got no noise at my ears other than the music that I'm playing is working just fine. So I'm going to wait until we can get a little bit behind traffic because I want to pick up and accelerate. This is a very loud bike. I have the screen at the lowest setting and I want to make sure when accelerating, I can still hear my music in a call. No problems at all. Accelerating, the accelerometer and the headset brought the volume right up. I had no need to adjust it manually. And that's really what you want. You do not want to be fiddling with your headset to adjust the volume while riding any more than you have to. As I said, the buttons are big and they're easy to reach, but I prefer a headset that actually handles the volume for you. Now, it's not going to be perfect. None of them are. And we'll do one more pull, see how it keeps up. But as a rule, you want a headset that will adjust itself for you. Okay, that was approximately three or four miles an hour over the speed limit crystal clear. I really do like the speakers AS Max uses. No problem whatsoever. Okay, so here we are at the end of the AS Max S1 review. I've now had five days of riding. I've ridden every day and I've exclusively been using my least favorite helmet with the AS Max S1 on it. And I have to say, it works great. I fail to see the difference between this unit and my AS Max F1. It simply works exceptionally well every time I need it to. I've probably only gotten a half a dozen calls and made two calls. They were crystal clear between 30 and 65 miles an hour. I could hear what the other people were saying. They could hear what I was saying. No problem at all. It adjusts the volume as I ride. Great. Whenever I wanted to manually adjust it, not that hard to do. I have found that it's easier to find the button in the back. I kind of go farther back. The button in the front, I have to hit the back button and then move forward, but that's just muscle memory. It works really, really well. Just to go on about AS Max the company now for a second. I like their products. I have been sent a lot of things, right out of frame, boxes of things I've been sent, and I appreciate every last one of them. But I'm gonna tell you right now, I haven't done reviews on all of them. And on one of them I did a review and the company asked me to please not post it. The reason being, not every product is worth using. Not every product is worth buying. Not every product is worth even the time to make a video. But this is the third thing AS Max has sent me and I would be happy to review any of their products. I would be happy to recommend any of the headsets that I've tried. So far, fingers crossed, 
they've been a very dependable company. And honestly, that's all you can hope for. They make good products that do exactly what they say they will. And the pricing is exceptionally competitive in their market. All right, folks, if you stuck around, I appreciate it and take care.